Hello everyone, how are you doing? All right, let's go to our January 31st class. Before I talk about the text, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel, okay? This text is about Lorraine Warren, an American clairvoyant and psychic medium, and her paranormal investigations with her husband, Ed Warren. One of their most famous cases was the Amityville Haunted House. Later, some of their popular investigations were turned into successful movies. Some words on the text. We're gonna have the verbs to be, to know, to conduct, to provide, to open, to run, to found, to marry, to direct, and to base. Okay? So let's talk about home practice. It starts on page 280 and finishes on page 282. Junior seniors and masters had to report the sentences that were there on your book. Okay? Juniors, three sentences. Seniors, six sentences. Masters, nine sentences. So, number one, reporting it, April Perron said that she got her own room. Number two, Nancy Perron said that she called dibs on the room. Number three, April Perron and Carolyn Perron exclaimed one, two, three, four, nine, ten. 4. Carolyn Perron exclaimed first clap. 5. Someone clapped. 6. Carolyn Perron said April. 7. Carolyn Perron whispered April. 8. The door was opening. 9. Someone clapped. 10. A ghost clapped. 11. Carolyn Perron said that she was going to get her then or at that time. 12. Carolyn Perron said that she could hear him or her breathing. 13. Some children laughed in the distance. 14. April Perron said that her mother had taken her blindfold off. She had been in Christine and Nancy's room. 15. Some children laughed more. 16. Someone was clapping in the distance. 17. Carolyn Perron ordered the girls. It was very way past their bedtime. 18. Some windows were crashing and more children left more. 19. Someone clapped twice. Number 20. Carolyn Perron asked who that was. 21. The door was opening slowly. 22. Someone was clapping again. 23. Carolyn Perron exclaimed that whoever was down there, she was gonna lock, lock her or him in, in at that time. 24. The door was slamming in Carolyn's face. 25. A light bulb was exploding and Carolyn was screaming. 26. Someone screamed ha. 27. Someone screamed help. 28. Carolyn Perron called to Andrea. 29. Carolyn screamed for help. 30. Someone was panting. And 31. Someone clapped twice. So let's go to our review. As you guys can see, this class is about reported speech. What is reported speech? It's when I report, when I say what another person has said before, what a third person has said. I will always follow the structure of the speaker plus a reporting verb, said, told, mentioned, asked, affirmed, whispered, shouted, etc. And the reported, reported sentence. To make this reported sentence, sometimes I need to make modifications, okay? For example, if I have a sentence in simple past, I report using past perfect. For example, my mother, my son won an award at the science affair, reporting, she said her son had won an award at the science fair. Another example is when I have present continuous. I report using past continuous. So, my daughter is talking to her friends who live next door, reporting. He said his daughter was talking to her friends who live next door. If I have present perfect, I report using past perfect. For example, my brother has read several books this year, reporting. He said his brother had read several books that year, okay? So, in general, Present tenses are reported in the past. Past tenses are reported in past perfect tenses. Okay? And that's it for reported speech. If you still have any questions, 
talk to your teacher on your live classes. Do the class practice activities on your book, of course. All right? So thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. See you next class. Bye-bye.